Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Era My Siam Thai Boxing, please welcome to the ring, Tracy Duggan! Introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Phantom Team Dublin, please welcome to the ring, Emily Webber! Paul O'Keefe calling the last action alongside Phil Campbell. Oh, here we go. Oh, big straight right away from Tracy. And Duggan, looking to use the teep as well, but it's a real walk-me-down style of Weber. Just coming forward. Both have that traditional tie style. Hands high, marching forward. That straight seems to be a real rep weapon of Tracy's, doesn't it? You can see, as the, she's thrown the straight, Phil, you can see the left kick to the body coming from Weber as well. Weber giving different looks, just stepping from Orthodox to Southpaw a little. Chasing down Duggan with some straight combinations. And good footwork as well by Weber on the outside. Moving left to right, not just circling to the one side. Nice low inside leg kick. Goes high, giving Duggan different looks each time. As a southpaw, Tracy may just be looking to throw that straight off a kick. And Duggan just trying to find a range with that jab, and neither fighter has really found the correct range as of yet. Duggan Weber. happy to sit on the back foot here, Phil, and sort of let Weber walk her down. Looks like the game plan may be to counter strike. Light on her toes as well. Each time Weber comes in, she just steps out of reach. Nice body shot. Yep, good change of levels there. Job high, body low. Again, that beautiful straight from Tracy. This time Weber just got her head off center line and corners dug it in the corner and lands some good shots. That's a good scoring body kick as well. Of course, with K1, kicks are going to score more to boxing as well. So a good body shot. Will score high on the judges' scorecards, but yeah. good opening first round. Duggan is happy to sit on the back foot and try counter the work of Weber. And it plays into Weber's tactics by the look of it, because she's happy to walk Duggan down, landing some good body shots. She's shown she's gone low, medium, and high with her kicks. Yeah, real nice flurry at the end there from Weber. Walked her opponent into the corner, landed the strikes, give her a little bit of space, landed the body kick. Good point score from Weber. You can just see in the replay there, there was good distant management as well by Duggan. A couple of the shots, she was just out of range until she got cornered by Weber in the neutral corner and she landed some good shots. But maybe I think the corner of um, Tracy Duggan might be telling her, okay, you need to step on the gas a little here. Traditionally, era Muay Siam, you can Same guess it by the name of Muay Thai Gym and notoriously Muay Thai fighters will start the opening round a little slower and the pace will pick up as the rounds go on. This is K1 so it's a little different, it's got to be all action. And you've only got two minutes to work so you can't mess about, can't hang around. And you can see again Weber pushing forward. Slight trip there. And Walter Scott just saying you can't catch the kick, you got to strike off it and Weber certainly has picked up the pace here at the start of the second. Tracy pulling that jab out, trying to go. Superman punch lands for Tracy Duggan. And she almost calling Weber in. A little bit of talking going on between the two now. But on the judges' scorecards as well, Phil, it's good, good shots landing here, just as I was starting to say that. On the judges' scorecards as well, you are seeing Weber walk down Dugan. Mm -hmm. So to be a counter striker, you have to be countering. You have to them shots to be significant that the judges are seeing them because as a judge watching it, you're seeing Weber walk Dugan down. Mm -hmm. Good ring control from Weber, as you say. And then when you turn around, a lot of the shots from Weber aren't landing because Dugan is managing her distance very well and it's just out of reach of the Phantom Fighter shots. And Duggan the just... Amoy, the NY Siam fighter needs to approach this fight with a little bit more urgency now. 
Now left hand straight down the, the pipe as well for Duggan. She has had success with it. I think she needs to set it up and maybe go to it a little more. She needs to start throwing some offence because... Solid front kick to the face from Weber. She is backing up, but she's not really throwing. Hands dropped. And Weber takes that as, OK, I'll come at you. We'll land some shots, but... Dugan is backing up a lot in this round, Phil, and not really throwing a lot. No, I want to... I'm not quite sure she hasn't been able to sort of get out of that first gear. She has landed effective strikes when she did commit. She landed a fantastic Superman punch. But I'd like to see her grab the urgency, pressure a little bit more, go forward, yeah. land the strikes, engage in a fight. She's she allowing to Weber to, to really take over the fight. It, like she's in this Asian where the fight is taking place. So as we just look at some replays here, you will see Dugan's, Dugan's shots are out of range. They're not landing, and they're more sort of feeling shots. There's no power behind them. The pace is definitely being dictated by Weber in this fight. So again, in the corner of Tracy Duggan, you got to think that Robin G will be asking for urgency. Let's get some offense. Let's make Weber back up. Because that could be significant as well on the judge's eyes if all of a sudden you see Weber backing up because of the pressure. But... Weber is like a coiled spring ready to go here at the start of the third. A big there we left go. hand, and we need to see more of that by Duggan. Good kick to the body too, but then charged by Weber. Like a woman possessed. Nod of the head as if to say, yeah, let's go. And you almost see that Weber wants to engage in somewhat to be a war while Duggan is keeping it at a point scoring range and the tip for that score. It's almost like a semi-contact style, isn't it? It really is, and you can tell by the shots she's landed. She's got the skill set, but it's almost, as you said, Phil, she just hasn't got out of her first gear. Good shots landed there. See, when she, when she commits, she does land these telling strikes. She's obviously very, very capable. Just needs to continue with that forward pressure. She's starting to find a home for that left hand, but Weber just walks through it, and... Comes with a flurry of her own, and Dugan just catches the kick, and Weber ends up on her back. And Weber walking her down again, but these shots are missing. The difference is, when Duggan lands a strike, Weber's on her straight away. When Weber lands her strike, she can get out. She's given enough space to get away. Duggan looking low, so maybe go high with a shot, but that's nice that kick left body, hand yep. again. A push kick. Weber looks the pressure into the corner. Finish that, with the flurry strong. Again, Phil, that left hand. She's landed a couple of counters and again, but she just needs to do more of it. She, she's thrown single shots and stepping away. Combinations, perhaps finishing with a kick. Get those points, get your opponent thinking. Set up the left hand with leg kicks, body kicks. This has been the best round by far for Tracy Duggan, but maybe too little, too late. Catch and release from Weber. She really came into the fight in the third round and she might look back at this and think, why didn't I do that in the opening the first two rounds? But she I did, as, as we said, Phil, throughout the fight, she was finding a home for that left hand. She just needed to go home some more. If Tracy had fought every fight like she just fought the third round there, we could be looking at a very different fight. Yeah, I agree. We go to your judges' scorecards. Walter Scott just getting the scores. The difference for me really was the pressure from Weber. As we said, when she was the recipient of a strike, bang in straight away, landing her own strikes, getting her points. Scores are in. Let's end it up to our MC, Mr. Terry Cavan. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the three rounds, we go to judges' scorecards. Judges score this bounty clearing a winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Emma Lee!